My name is Sabina Fortman and I work at Barry Kalevaud in the sustainability department and I'm part of the team that's looking after sustainability for our non-cocoa ingredients. That's all the ingredients that go into our chocolate besides the cocoa. We as Barry Kalevaud have made a commitment to have 100% sustainable ingredients in our products by 2025. And so when we talk about sustainable ingredients, of course dairy is one of the big topics for us. When it comes to dairy and sustainability, um, we face several challenges. There was no global standard, there was no harmonization of standards in the industry when it came to sustainability. And for us as a global company, that's of course a major challenge. And so what we saw is that some specific suppliers, some very advanced regions were already looking at sustainability, but there was no global harmonized standard that we could just use and apply to our supply chain. Another challenge that we face is, is the question of how do we show our impact. Right? In order to demonstrate our impact, to show progress, we need to be able to first of all measure data and then of course share the on-farm data with people further up the chain like us so that we can also communicate to our stakeholders. Additionally, we see that dairy is a big contributor to carbon emissions and therefore climate change. And again, it's, a, it's an issue that is close to our heart at Barry Kalibad because we have a commitment to become carbon positive by 2025. We set up a project together with one of our customers that is called Vision Dairy. And in the Vision Dairy project, we had three major goals or objectives. Um, first of all, setting the benchmark. Um, as part of that work stream, we have devised a dairy sustainability charter to really set a global benchmark of what does sustainability in dairy mean and what are the criteria, the minimum requirements that we want to establish and what is the leadership position in our point of view. So not only what is our minimum criteria today, but where do we want our supply chain to move in the future. The second work stream was around um, impact, measuring outcomes. And so corresponding with our charter requirements, we have devised outcome measures. And these outcome measures are devised in a way that we can collect them from our suppliers, from the farms and they are really impact focused. So they enable us to show the impact that we're having with our program. And they're also innovative in the way that we're not telling the farmer how to farm. We're agreeing on the impacts and the outcomes that we want to see. And then the farmer knows best how to get there and what he needs to do on his farm in order to reach those impacts. 